Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Let's go ahead and talk to Pip over here. What's he got to say? I've been so anxious to do battle with Garlinians. I sometimes find myself tightly gripping the hilt of my blade without realizing it. Perhaps that is to blame for the blisters on my hands. Could be. Could be, Pip. Could be. Let's get back to our main characters. Rubion. Lies, damn lies, and pirates. If there's truth to the rumors, this is not the first time Zenos has spared his foes. They say he abides by the unusual code. He takes pleasure in the flight. Whatever his reasons, we must use this time to our advantage. What if we do small talk? We await good tidings from the Far East, my friend. In the meantime, the Alliance will continue to aid the resistance and help it to rebuild. Storm Officer? How is Zinnemann's name did they find the Reach? I thought the glimmers were impenetrable. I've called upon Steelblade's fame to send every available conjurer, no matter how inexperienced, to help with the wounded. I pray it will be enough. Me too. Oh, I almost forgot about the little guy right here. I wish you well on your journey, my friend. Let us pray that when we meet again, our fortunes will be much changed. Really? You said your peace, yes? Now, would you please return to bed? you never recover if you carry on like this. Oh, she's talking to Nango. Pam, pam, pam. He gods the pain. It seems like a good idea at the time. Lise? I can't deny a part of me wants to stay and fight, but I know I'd be more use to you and the others. Conrad? We've got a long road ahead of us, but it all begins with the first step. We'll stay in the reach and rebuild. We'll reinforce our defenses, and if they come again, we'll be ready. I doubt that, but you go for it. That which is beyond one alone may yet be within reach of the many. Okay, Alfred. Let's say, what do we got? Lies, damn lies, and pirates. Some more belts we don't need. And quick arm material, skill speed. Alize is contemplating the logistics of a journey to the Far East. We get some gill. Oh, a good amount of gill. And a good amount of experience, which should bump us up to level 73. Where men go as one, there is life. And where there is life, there is cause to hope. Our grandfather believed that, and so do I. But before we can forge ties with our friends in the Far East, we must first find a way to reach them. Our thought is not exactly over the river and through the woods. I am one step ahead of you, dear sister. Or rather, Tataru is. But before we discuss that, there is another issue I wish to address. Much as I would like it if we could all make this journey together, someone will need to remain to serve as liaison to the Alliance and the Resistance during this critical period. Moreover, a Jashana cannot be left unattended. Then I should obviously remain. Very well, issue addressed. You know, Alphanet, it would have been quicker just to ask, and markedly less patronizing. That's right. Y yes, I suppose. Uh, ahem. Would you be willing to look after your son and provide support to Arenaval and the others? She already said yes. Yes, Alphanet, I would. You see, that wasn't so hard, was it? During your trip? And don't you dare return with a gift. Oh, I would not dream of it. Right then, sister, Tickman, please gather your things. We are for Lemon Lemesia. Lemon Lemesia, we go. Hi, everybody. Got a quest there something but we're out of here we ain't got time for none of this we need to go to the upper decks 
Yeah, definitely the upper decks. As I travel to the lower decks, but there is no teleport straight to the upper decks. Which is why we gotta do a hop, skip, and a jump from one to the Ab Castle. Why it calls it the Ab Castle when it's above, I'll never know. Where is our mission? It's this way. Drowning Witch. I don't say. Maybe they're not in here. Maybe they're outside. Yeah, they're outside. Hmm. Your bread was always your sharpest stone, May. I haven't spent much time here, to be honest. I spoke with Yoranger and Bancrit along the way. To say they were surprised by our stratagem would be something of our understanding, but they did not dispute its logic. Petru should be here any moment with our ship's captain. So if we're going by sea after all, is Merowet lending us our pick of the Crimson Fleet? Not exactly. You are right in as much as we will be traveling by sea. Regrettably, it is simply not feasible for an airship to travel such a distance without impossibly large fuel reserves, to say nothing of the inevitability of running afoul of the Empire's aerial defenses. But then it is equally infeasible to sail Nazorian Alliance vessel halfway around the world without the Empire taking notice. Which leaves us with only one other option. And speak of the devil. Are we going underground? Sorry to keep you waiting. May I present to you Captain Carvelian of the Kraken Arms. Not sure if I like him. Cracking arms? Don't tell me you made a deal with pirates. Greetings and salutations, signs. I take it from your comrades' tone that you no longer wish to proceed with our proposed arrangement. Not at all, Captain. Pray forgive my sister's her outbursts. She has ever been one to speak her mind. I, on the other hand, am very soul of discretion as many well-respected personages will attest from the offices of their admiral to the high houses of Ishka. Ah, but where was I? Oh yes, the signs of the seventh dawn do indeed still wish to employ your services. However, it is important that you are aware of certain extenuating circumstances. Okay, Jabba Jabba Jabba, tell the stories. What will you decide, Mr. Captain? An intent on securing passage to the Far East. You come to us, knowing us to be the proud purveyors of said region's finest spices which you steal from God's fearing merchants out on the high seas. Alize, stop it. Whatever privateering the Kraken's arms may or may not engage in is strictly within the limits of the law, as set forth by our indefatigable keeper of the peace. More to the point, we are pragmatist. I see considerable risk in aiding your cause and negligible profit. Well, I for one think the captain has a point. Five seas can be extremely treacherous and many a poor unfortunate soul has come to grief out there on the waves. Why 
When we were in Ishgard, I heard the tragic tale of how the heir to the house Drenagil vanished at sea. Even now, nearly 20 years later, the poor court remains convinced that his son still lives and would pay a sultan's ransom for news of his whereabouts. Oh, look at that smile. <laughs> <laughs> Truly a tragedy for the ages and a testament to the misfortunes that may befall us should we act without due consideration. But so long as you are prepared to abide by the capricious whims of fate, I'm willing to oblige you this way. That said, in light of the recent rebellion, I trust you understand that I cannot deliver you to Doma itself. I can take you only as far as Kugain in Engashi. We will require time to produce significant provisions and make ready for departure. I humbly suggest you do the same. Alright then, Tadaru, what was all that? Poor little boy had only seen 14 summers when he left the Shgard. Can you imagine what it must have felt like to finally be free to explore the world, unbeholden to all the stuffy traditions of the Holy See? Such a shame that it never returned home. Without him, the court de Dragonidae must look elsewhere for his successor. And the good Lord Jenna Cornard is one step closer to being the next in line. Not sure what just happened. I could have sworn he was about to turn us away, but then he changed his mind. Blackmail, is it? This is a dangerous game the two of them are playing. What guarantee do we have the caravan won't just throw us overboard? It's a good question. Suddenly, all those hours Tataru has cavorting and capering at the Forgotten Night seems rather better spent, do they not? That said, I had intended to press the point more obliquely, and there was something disconcerting about the pleasure Tataru took in making Captain Carvenian squirm. Yeah, she enjoyed it all right. You see that smile on her face? It's crazy. Well, let's get the skill speed plus 12 quick arm materia and boom, get that level, get that XP. And that's going to be it for us today. We got 17 million more XP to go for the next level. So join us tomorrow and we're going to continue on with Tales from the Far East. Until then. Y'all take care.